The international break is here with us. Players who have been performing optimally have been selected to represent their respective countries. But is Gary Southgate a joke to you? Look at this squad and tell me why he decided to leave out people like Ward Pros. I digress. The main point of this video is about Anthony Santos, the showboating master from Manchester United and Brazil, respectively. He was dropped from the Samba Boys squad following a case that was filed by his ex girlfriend. This is what the national team had to say. In light of the facts which came to light on Monday concerning Manchester United player Anthony, which must be investigated. And in order to safeguard the alleged victim, the player, the Brazilian national team and the CBF, the organization informs that the athlete has been removed from the Brasilia. Anthony Matheus dos Santos, as Anthony Santos is formally called, was accused by the ex Gabriela Cavalin of assault. In an emotive interview with UOL, a Brazilian outlet, Gabriela recounted numerous incidences where the Brazilian winger assaulted her. In one incident, Gabriela says Anthony held a glass cutting her and inflicting a deep cut that exposed her bones. How true is that? I cannot confirm or deny those allegations. In yet another incident, Gabriela says Anthony Santos came across a video of her being ratchety in a nightclub. Out of jealousy, she says Anthony threatened to throw her out of a moving vehicle. She says, and I quote, He said that if I didn't stay with him, I wouldn't stay with anyone. I told him that I was pregnant, that he was scaring me, making my heart race. I was shaking with fear. Gabriela served UOL with audio recordings and screenshots between her and Anthony Santos, which I have not yet obtained. The screenshots and audio footage show Anthony Santos being infuriated with her for liking pictures of Neymar Jr. That was in 2022, before the World Cup. Now, after the World Cup, Gabriela says the relationship between the two became so bad that the assault became order of the day. She says that at some point, Anthony Santos punched her so intensely on the chest, such that her breast implants shifted. Phew! I didn't know that she had implants, so... The UOL have quoted her saying, I knew I had to leave, but I couldn't. I liked him a lot. I had a lot of hope. I was very attached to the beginning of our relationship, to the things he was to me in the beginning. On that last day, it was very serious. She continues to say, I was really scared that I wouldn't be able to get out of the house. Antony locked the door of the house and wouldn't let me leave and I had my finger open, all hurt. He broke my things, took my passport. During this incident, Gabriela says that Anthony had tried to hit her head with a glass bowl. While trying to block the ball from hitting her head with her hand, she cut her fingers, exposing the bones. Gabriela says that Anthony's mother and stepfather had to restrain him. On his part, this is what Anthony had to say. When will the truth come out? We can only wait and hear what the courts have to say. Thank you for the continued support and every single subscription that you make to this channel means so much to me.